Hello and welcome to my new video. Uh, sorry it's been a while, I've been a little bit ill and very busy with Amber and the little one that's coming. So I do apologise but I've had a lot going on, especially with work as well. It's been absolutely manic. But for those that don't know me, I'm Craig and I'm a serving soldier within the Household Carry Regiment and I've started this channel to help people with you know, just general military knowledge, but mainly down the fitness route, okay, with your physical training. Okay, and today I'm just gonna be going through my top tips and what exercises I believe that you should be doing, whether you're in the army or looking at joining the army, okay? This is my opinion, this is my top tips, okay? You don't have to listen to me, but this is what I recommend you should do. Okay, so getting into it then, first of all, the first thing you need to be doing, okay, especially if you're looking at joining the army, because this is more towards you, number one is running. Okay, you need to be running, okay, building that cardiovascular system. Okay, yes, when you're in the army, you're gonna be doing a lot of stuff with weight um, on your back, so a lot of tabbing, a lot of burden carrying when you're running and stuff like that, but, you know, don't do any of that until you join the army, okay? Don't do any injuries to yourself. So wait till you've started phase one, they show you how to tab, how you to do your burden runs, okay? And then build up from there, and that will help prevent injury, okay? Also, to help prevent injury, okay, you know, get in the gym, Get on the get on the cardio machines, okay. Get on the bike, get on the cross trainer, and get on the rower, okay. Do a couple of running sessions a week, and then jump on a bike, rower, cross trainer. Um, get out and do swimming as well. But number one, running, and then also chuck in bike, rowing, cross trainer, and a bit of swimming as well. Okay, second then is press ups, okay. Just body weight press ups. Yes, we no longer do the PFA, we do the sold and condition review, and press ups are aren't in that but it's a great body weight exercise that you can do absolutely anywhere and it's going to build your upper body strength you know you can do your explosive power do some clap press ups okay do different variations of press ups wide arm close grip diamond press ups press ups are a great way of just building you know that extra little bit of strength you need especially if you haven't got access access to a gym okay just around your house do press ups okay if you're joining the army do press ups if you're in the army already just in your room just do press ups every night okay when you go to the gym do some press ups okay highly recommend doing press ups okay next is pull ups definitely should be doing pull ups okay you should have been doing pull ups before if you was in the army and they weren't part of the test because they're great once again a great upper body exercise to build strength and a little bit of size but now they're in the soldier condition review okay so you need to be able to do pull ups i don't mean chin ups i need over arm pull ups okay so definitely be doing pull ups um, get a pull up bar if you can in your room in the block or if you're at home and you're looking at joining the army get a bar across your kitchen door or living room door somewhere do that or get down to the gym and do pull ups okay definitely should be doing pull ups with this new soldier condition review coming in okay they're really looking at you know how many people how many press ups people can do press ups how many pull ups people can do okay so pull ups pull ups pull ups you definitely need to be doing pull ups it's going to help with that pull in motion when you're getting over a wall or something like that when you're out on exercise and obstacle course or on tour. Okay, number four on the list then is deadlifts. Very important, you do this and you do it correctly. Okay, you need to be doing deadlifts. Once again, it's now part of the new test. It's part of the soldier condition review and it's part of PEZ, okay? Physical employment standards for the ground close combat troops and the non ground close combat troops, you'll be doing it in the future, okay? So you need to be doing deadlift and you need to be doing it correctly. Okay, so if you don't know how to do it, find someone that knows how to do it, a friend or a personal trainer or if you're in your army, get down to the gym and speak to your physical training instructors and they will show you how to deadlift. Okay, this will help you with everything. Like I said, your soldier condition review, your PEZ and your CASIVAC drills and that's the reason we do it in PEZ, okay? Especially if you're an armoured soldier, okay? You're in an armoured fighting vehicle, you know, and you've got to do a CASIVAC drill out the top of the turret. Okay, you're going to basically sort of have to deadlift him out deadlift them out okay so you need to be able to deadlift okay really work on your deadlift and really work on your form okay if you think you're not doing it correctly get see a pti or see one of your friends who can teach you okay the fifth exercise you should be doing then is the farmer's walk okay this is going to prepare you for the jerry can carry on this on the new tests um, and it's also going to help you with ammunition runs you know resupplies if you are getting ammunition or water to a location okay so you don't have to get jerry cans, you know, if you get down the gym, just get some heavy dumbbells, get some kettlebells, or get a hex bar, dead, um, hex bar, okay, the one you can use for a deadlift, okay, just get that and walk a good distance, okay, and walk back, walk a good distance and walk back and keep practicing that. So farmer's walk is definitely what you need to be doing for the new test and for when you're on operations or on exercise. So that's just a short video um, of my five 
top exercises that I believe you should be doing, okay? Yes, you should be doing more, but I believe those are five critical exercises that you should definitely be doing within your training plan each week or every couple of weeks, okay? So spread out over a week or spread out over two weeks, okay? You should definitely be doing it with the deadlift. It could be your conventional deadlift. It could be a hex bar deadlift. Um, definitely just get doing press-ups and get doing pull-ups, okay? Get some clap press-ups in there. Work on your upper body explosive power. Like, get on the farmer's walk. Get used to carrying heavy, you know, up to about 20 kilos per hand in each hand. Get used to carrying that. And then definitely get out running or doing some sort of cardio training three times a week, I'd say. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it um, informative and you can take something away from it. And I will promise I will start posting some more. If you did like it, remember to click the subscription button, notifications bell for more of my future content, okay? Catch you in a bit.